welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, I am Steph and along with my husband Pete. Very nice. And our three-year-old son Hayes. So we've been traveling for over a year and we're coming to you today from rural Rajasthan. We're in a Jeep and we're headed out to some villages. Hayes will be talking about that one for weeks. I don't actually know where we're going. It is really remote. Let me know if you spot something, okay? Hazy kept saying that we'll be here. I spotted something, I spotted something. Usually it was a motorbike, but I think we've arrived. <laughs> Is it dying out now? Yeah. It's the last one around here is doing it. Wow. It is all made from sheep wool. Make yourself comfortable here. This is incredible. This is the raw wool that he's just like teasing with his fingers to then make the string. That then I guess they spin onto the spools and then put onto the actual loom. But I mean, I've never seen that so close up and so raw. It's incredible. It's a shame that this is dying out because it's it's incredible. But you can also, but you, it's a lot of work and it's also very time consuming as well. So. Nice. <laughs> Must. Very nice. <laughs> you want to come too? Where's Hazy gone? It's amazing. It's incredible. Very, very warm. Very nice. It takes 15 days to make one rug. Or, or what do you call that blanket? <laughs> Bye. Thank you. Bye. We're at village stop number two, which is a carpenter. Okay, okay. And then what? And then you drink? And then you drink, yes. You put water drain in the You want to try? You want to hold it? You want to look at it? You want to feel it? Yeah, this, this person, this person can't, so that's out of the <laughs> That's good. Other way, other way. Turn it around. That's it. And then that, and then yes. What's this? That's just like a bigger one. So you crush it up. This, we were just all handling this like thing and nobody asked and they were saying that you grind it, you mix it with water and try it, mommy, you should try it, drink it. I, nobody had really asked what you grind, but I asked. <laughs> How come to this amazing carpenter's um, land and uh Hey, we'll tell you what that's for when you're older. <laughs> any, any guesses what it was? It's very interesting. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Sleep in the Carpenter and on to the next stop. You never yeah. know what you're up to in India. <laughs> it's about to say the same thing. You just like, it's the brilliant thing about this place. You just never know. You never know what's going to happen. And he's left with a gift, which maybe it's some sort of <laughs> instrument. Oh, camel spotting. First trip. Sorry, good at making the wheel tracks. The Jeep? you don't mind me interrupting this video to tell you about something we would not travel without, especially not to places like these. We haven't traveled rurally that much during this year, and I must admit, when we started planning this trip, it made me a little bit nervous, especially with Hayes, about what we would do if he needed medical attention. But something that makes me feel a little bit more comfortable is Safety Wing who we'd like to thank for partnering with us on today's video. We've been traveling for over a year now and we've had Safety Wing the whole time. 
We love them for their incredible customer service and that our subscription auto renews every month, no matter which country we're visiting next. Last time I talked about Safety Wing on this channel, we hadn't actually had to use it. But in May, Hayes had a little accident in Seoul. He's fine, but one thing I can say for sure now is that when we were rushing to the hospital in an ambulance, one thing I didn't have to worry about was if we'd be covered or if filing the claim would be some big complicated process. It wasn't, it was super simple and straightforward and since Hayes is under 10, he doesn't even cost extra on our policy. So while I hope that we can steer clear of doctor visits <laughs> while here in India, I know that I can rest easy knowing that we're covered with the best travel insurance out there. Thank you to Safety Wing and now, Back to the video. This is how they uh, lived since centuries. And they still live in these? Yes, they still yeah. the family still stays here. That's amazing. Yeah. Gosh, it's okay. It's okay. Press yes, press. It's yeah, okay. it's okay. Yeah. This is how. They, do you like how they're so round? Yeah. Okay. Hey, is such a different way of living, isn't it? I mean, this. I don't. Can you see me on that? Yeah, totally. I mean, this Come is just. Amazing to see. Come out. Come out, mommy. Yeah, don't really have many words to describe it, but it's just come really out. awesome to come and see it in person. Alright. Now, oh, this is the kitchen. Gosh. It's amazing. And look, this is how they use the. Hey, see, look, they use the cow. They use the cow dump to, as fuel for when they're doing their cooking. So they make a little fire there and they put the pots on top. So I guess evidently a lot of the houses in the farmland out here in Rajasthan would look like this and then 20 years ago uh, they started, you know, converting to more modern day houses and this little cluster is the last one left in this area. They also have a home for the animals as well and like obviously no walls are being built, this is just all this like really thick sort of uh, sticks that I guess they layer together to keep the animals in. Just amazing. That's how you like your afternoon tea? tea? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, what? Uh, Where are you going? I'm going to try to get new get to quick out and I love it. Aww. Fun fact about me, I prefer looking in the opposite direction of the sunset because I love the like pinks and blues and purples. Anybody else? Me. By the way, now we're looking for deer. Hello. This is like the most huh? unpopulated area crazy. I've ever been. Mm. Right? Because like everywhere else, like you always see people, but yeah, we're this like is... really out there. We're really out there. <laughs> Well, that was a very cool experience. And now we're having dinner here, which is incredible. Very different, but incredible. So the reason we're able to go on such a cool village visit like that is because we're staying at yet another beautiful heritage property, uh, sort of near Jodhpur. Uh, this one's called Kot Danara. Kot Danara. By the way, this building that we're like casually having breakfast in is, I don't know, 800 years old and there's no border. It's just mud. Kot refers to like the chief's home in a village and most villages had a big home somewhere in the village, like this one. Should we go show them? I got any shoes on. You know it's gonna be a good stay when we pulled up yesterday and Hayes said, is our new home a castle? Yeah. Whose castle is this? Thar Castle. That is one hell of an entrance. Does that remind you of that game with the monkeys like hanging off the barrel? Oh yeah. Every time we've entered, I thought of that. What barrel of monkeys? Yeah. Good. Hey. So this cot is evidently over 1,000 years old. 
uh, and it's been in the same family for 180 years. They have a swimming pool here. It's here, the swimming pool. They also have bees. Got a little cheeky monkey in there who's not that. I just went in and he's opened up the book on like Rajasthani safaris <laughs> and he's just looking at a leopard in a book. We're going to see a staircase, is that what's next? <laughs> yeah, come on. It's an open face staircase. Ooh. Great rooftop and uh, overlooking the gardens here. More rooftop. All parts of the old temple. of the old temple. These rooms. Okay, so again, we find ourselves in another wonderful property in rural Rajasthan. Pete and I have lived in India, we've traveled in India, but we'd never really done any stays like this or stayed even really outside of cities. So on this trip, it's been really nice. We've kind of let unique properties kind of guide our itinerary of how we're getting from Mumbai, not Mumbai, from Delhi to Mumbai eventually and trying to see some sites we haven't seen, some lesser known places. So far we have been to Bundi, we've been to Pushkar, Chandalao, and now Dundara. And it's been really wonderful. So highly encourage you if you are coming to India, if you've been to India and are coming back, to check out some of these more like rural locations where you can experience, you know, the old trades of the village and then come back to a really modern yet historical, peaceful place to relax. It's really cool to see how they've restored these old buildings and uh, brought them back to their former glory. Um, it just reminds me, or well, I feel like when we're doing these videos, it's sort of like being like on grand designs, <laughs> but we haven't done any of the work. <laughs> we're just like turning up at the end of like, the episode. If any of you have watched grand designs, they turn up at the end of the episode and go around the, the, uh, the property and they're like, oh, such an amazing job, well done, you know? Um, it really feels like that, so come check these places out, they're great. Just here, living out our hand.